Dr. Shuntaro Hida has been fighting against an invisible enemy for much of his life, and at 95 years old, he's still fighting. Hida survived the Hiroshima atomic bombing, and he treated about 6,000 other survivors until he retired three years ago. He spoke tirelessly about the dangers of radiation, especially internal exposure. Now, that's different from external exposure. That refers to radiation penetrating the body from the outside, as what happened to many residents of Hiroshima and Nagasaki when the atomic bombs exploded and released extremely strong rays. Internal exposure, on the other hand, refers to the effects of absorbing radioactive particles by breathing or by ingesting contaminated food. Some experts say low doses of radiation do not pose serious health risks. But Dr. Hina and others maintain radioactive particles can destroy cells, alter DNA, and cause all sorts of illnesses. 67 years after the atomic bombings, Hida's warnings are attracting new attention. NHK World's Chie Yamagishi reports. Shuntaro Hida visits this place every August 6th. It's one of the memorials in Hiroshima for the victims of the atomic bombing. The experience of the atomic bomb was a special and a big issue in my life. It changed my view of life as a doctor. Back in 1945, Hida was serving as a Nami doctor in Hiroshima. Hida was exposed to radiation, but he still worked tirelessly treating survivors in the aftermath. He was surprised when he started seeing patients who had escaped the blast but had returned to the city days later. They were also dying of acute radiation syndrome, showing symptoms such as high fever, hair loss, and bleeding. Hida watched over the years as more survivors developed cancer and other diseases. Authorities restricted reporting of A-bomb health damage for several years after the war. So it wasn't until the 1970s that Hida realized his patients were likely suffering from internal radiation exposure. In Hiroshima, radiation killed human beings for the first time. Still now, the nature of the radiation damage cannot be understood from a medical point of view, nor can it be treated. Hida dedicated his life to educating people about the long-term health damage radiation can cause. He delivered speeches around the world. Then last year's accident at Fukushima Daiichi gave him a new focus. Many people in Japan wanted to hear his message. Parents in particular. They worry radiation from the damaged plant could harm their children. Yoko Hashimoto is a mother of two living in Tokyo. My children grow up with what I give them to eat, and I feel horrified about the possible effect on them. Hashimoto and a group of mothers turned to Hida so they could be better informed. Hida explained how atomic bomb victims became sick. He also criticized politicians and experts who say the radiation released by Fukushima Daiichi poses no risk. Internal radiation exposure is indeed dangerous. Once you absorb even a low dose, it will cause damage. We experience this horror many times after Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Hida told mothers that many A-bomb survivors tried hard to prevent being sick by taking every measure to maintain good health. You should spend the rest of your life working together to shut down nuclear plants and abolish nuclear weapons.
I will think about how not to be a victim of radiation. Dr. Hida has delivered more than 150 speeches since the Fukushima nuclear accident. There is no other surviving doctor who can speak about the damage from radiation exposure. The government and other elites say that people don't need to worry about internal exposure. But I've seen evidence to the contrary. I have to speak about it even though it's hard at times. The 95-year-old says he's committed to teaching the next generation the lessons of the past and reminding them of the dangers they face in the present. Chie Yamagishi, NHK World, Hiroshima.